It's a great joy to welcome you again to Dokanguka Broadcast. My name is Chris Nikumana. Today is Tuesday. This morning, I want to encourage all the listeners who are carrying a heavy burden. I want to encourage all of you who are discouraged and who feel like you have no future. There are some people who live in fear since the beginning of the year. You're always afraid, you are worried about tomorrow, but you only need to do one thing. You need to lean on the Lord, you need to put your trust in Him. Maybe you used to lean on other things which are now gone. Maybe you had a great job, but you've been laid off from that job and it's as if if the world has stopped because you no longer have that job. But I want you to understand that your future doesn't depend on that job. Your life doesn't depend on money. It doesn't depend on any human being. It doesn't depend on your education level. It doesn't depend on your physical strength. It should only depend on I am. You should stand firm on the word of God. You need to think about God's love and his mercy. You need to remember that God is your creator and he sees you. If you are a parent, I know that you always have compassion for your child and you love your child. Unless you suffer from some mental health issue, you will always have compassion for your child. You will always love your child. You always wish the best for your child. You want your child to attend the best schools. You want him to prosper. You always wish the best for your child. If you see that your child is having some problems, you can just ignore him and continue to do what you are doing. No, you stop what you are doing and you try to help your child. If you hear your child crying, you immediately go to see what happened to your child. But if you are passing by and you hear someone else's child crying, you may continue your work because you think that the child's mother or the father can take care of him. But if you hear the voice of your own child crying, you can continue what you are doing. You have to go check on him right away. If someone like you who's not perfect can care so much about your children, can you imagine Imagine how much our perfect and holy and sinless God cares for his children. So if you are a child of God, if you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you need to stop losing hope because of your problems. This world is full of problems. There are financial problems. There are health problems. There are many different problems that are causing people to lose hope. But you need to stop losing hope. My dear brothers and sisters who is listening to me, dear listeners of Kanguka, I want to encourage you to believe in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. There are many things out there that are scaring you. Maybe you have heard some bad news. There is a listener who has heard very discouraging news, but don't lose hope because of what you heard. People talk. Satan wants you to hear scary news so you can think that you have no future. But I want you to listen to the news from heaven. Heaven is telling you that your God sees you. Today, I want to share with you a verse found in Psalm 56 verse 3. It says, Whenever I'm afraid, I will put my trust in you. I lean on you alone. Let me tell you that if you put your trust in I am and you lean on him alone, you are blessed because whenever you have a spiritual problem or physical problem, I am will fight for you. If you lean on I am, he will fight on your behalf. You need to understand that I am already knew all your problems even before they happen. But sometimes he will allow problems in your life so he can see if you are going to lean on him or not. One day, Jesus was with his disciples in a boat, and God the Father allowed a storm to happen. There were strong winds and huge waves because he wanted to see the reaction of the disciples. He wanted to see who they were going to lean on. So, who do you lean on? How can you lose hope if you are with Jesus? The disciples were losing hope. They thought they were going to die even though they were with Jesus. Let me tell you that I am is with you today. You need to stand on that verse that I just shared with you. Meditate on it. You need to understand that you shouldn't be afraid. It's normal to have fear. We all experience fear. Fear will come but when it comes, you need to defeat it with the word of God. You need to use the word of God in order to have victory over fear. There is no other way. In whom do you put your trust? Who do you lean on? Yes, God has blessed you but even if you have material possessions, even if you have money, even if you have intelligence, even if you have a huge education level. Don't lean on your degrees. Don't lean on material things because all those things can disappear. You need to lean on him. You need to lean on his word. Read the Bible and listen to God's promises. Put your eyes on I am and he will make a way for you.
now time to continue the teaching called, What are your priorities? This is a very important teaching. We need to understand that we must always put the interest of I am above our own interest. People often put their own interest first. They care more about their own business than the interest of I am. It's part of human nature. We always look at ourselves, but it shouldn't be that way. When it comes to God's kingdom, we can see in the word of God that Jesus taught that we should forsake everything else and put him first. We need to put him above everything else. Many people have a hard time understanding this. Some even think that this is impossible to do. But I think that everything that Jesus said is possible. He would not have told us to do something that's impossible. If Jesus is asking us to do something, it means that it's possible. Jesus would never ask us to do something that's impossible to do. So it's possible to put the interest of I am above our own interest and that's what Jesus wants us to do. In Mark chapter 10 verse 29, Jesus said, Assuredly, I say to you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake and the gospels. I want you to understand that to leave those things means to put them in the hands of Jesus. When it's time to give, you give with joy. You don't say, this is mine. No, you say, everything belongs to you. I will give you everything belongs to you. I will give you anything you want. You can hold and do something and refuse to let it go. Those who understand will let those things go for the sake of Jesus. So in the next verse, verse 3, Jesus said that there is no one who has left all those things who shall not receive a hundredfold now in this time houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and in the age to come eternal life. Many people have a wrong understanding of this verse. They think that if they give one car, they should expect to receive 100 cars in return. If they give one acre of land, then they should receive 100 acres in return. But that's not what Jesus was talking about. Many people teach that if you give any amount of money, you should expect to receive 100 times that amount in return. But that's not what Jesus is teaching in this passage. Jesus is talking about the importance that you attach to those things that you gave for the sake of Jesus, those things that you are letting go for the sake of Jesus. How can you forsake your sister or your father for the sake of Jesus? How can you forsake your job for the sake of Jesus? It means that you choose to give more importance to Jesus than your sister. You give more importance to Jesus than your wife. You give more importance to Jesus than your parents. It means that when it comes to to the interest of Jesus, you put the interest of your spouse aside, not because you don't like your spouse, but because you want Jesus to be first. That's what Jesus is talking about in this passage. And when he says that you will receive a hundredfold, it doesn't mean that you will receive a hundred spouses or a hundred sisters. It means that since you were willing to forsake the profit you were seeking from your spouse or your siblings or your parents or your child or your friend, then Jesus will give you a hundred times more than what you were seeking from those people. I'm not saying that he will give you exactly 100 times the same thing, but you will get a profit that's much bigger than the profit you were expecting to receive from those people. But you will get a profit that's much bigger than the profit you were expecting to receive from those people. And in addition to the profit that you receive in this world, you will also receive eternal life. It means that you will also receive a great profit in heaven. So you will always receive a great profit when you put the interest of of I am first. I want you to understand that you don't lose anything when you put I am first. If you're willing to forsake something, if you're willing to give up TV or WhatsApp or visiting friends because you want to spend more time with I am, you receive something special. You may not see it with your eyes right away, but let me tell you that you have received a special blessing in heaven because you put the interest of I am ahead of your own interest. That's what I want you to learn in this teaching. We need to put I am first, we need to put him above everything else. God willing, we continue tomorrow. May I am bless you. I wish you all a great day. If you want to repent or you're transformed by these teachings, you can contact us by sharing your testimony in order to edify other listeners by contacting us on plus 256 781 377 337.